G'day guys, this is Nick at stridewise.com with... Tim Steiner. This is Tim Steiner. Tim is a uh, contributor to stridewise.com where he has written many reviews of many, many high quality products. And uh, we are in his home today outside of Boston in Massachusetts. We want to talk about Barber. Right. Barber jackets, which are some of the most cherished and beloved wax jackets in the entire world. And a lot of people are confused as to what the qualities are of each of the jackets, which look pretty similar. They do. Now, how many Barber jackets do you own? I have close to 12. So I own close to zero, and when I saw that a lot of people were asking about barber jackets, I thought, well, I could buy one and give it a review, but anything that I say is gonna be inferior to what Tim Steiner has sure. to say about barber jackets, because this guy's an encyclopedia. Uh, all right, you ready to take it away? Can you handle this? Absolutely, ready to go. All right. Well, hold on a second, I need the jacket. So I've been wearing barber jackets for 30 years, and this particular jacket is 10 years old. Barber jackets are that rare item of clothing that you really could base your entire wardrobe, your entire personality on, really. They are wearable SUVs and provide excellent protection against the elements with their hardy canvas and rich, aromatic wax finishes. While some may think of them as uniforms of the British upper class, and I'm thinking about our usual host, Nick, here, who has a very Australian bias against his Commonwealth masters. <laughs> Barber transcends class and are worn by everyone from students to monarchs. They represent a certain pragmatism, a steadfastness in their classic styling, and yet serve as an excellent platform for creativity in how you wear them. From their water repellent wax cotton to their heavy zippers and internal pockets, they have a certain Swiss Army knife charm. The classic choice, the Coke versus Pepsi choice in the barber universe is which jacket is better, the Bedell or the Beaufort? The answer depends on how you intend to wear your jacket. Both jackets are made in the UK. They both have the capacity for a snap-on hood. They have the corduroy collars, which are really nice and soft. They have the heavy brass zippers as well and hand warmer pockets. Both are lined with cotton tartan, which is really nice. And they are both oversized in their fit. If you like classic modern materials with some modern fits like Nick does or like how brands like Taylor Stitch approach their heritage apparel, the Ashby is probably closer to what you're looking for. The B-Dale is about eight centimeters shorter. It has cuffs at the sleeves and it lacks the game pocket on the Beaufort. The Bedale's shorter length is sportier and slightly younger looking. It's a little bit more discreet. I feel like the Beaufort being based on traditional hunting coats, it just feels a lot more relaxed. The pockets are bigger, they're better placed, they feel a little bit more comfortable, especially for taller guys. So if you're thinking about the length of the B-Dale, it's close to a hunting jacket, so it's probably not quite long enough to go over a suit coat. The rain, when it runs down the front of you, it tends to soak into the front of your pants and your jeans, whereas on the Beaufort, it does a little better job of driving the rain away from you. And I feel like that makes a very important difference. Another important difference between these two coats are the sleeves. In the Beaufort, you have a bit of nylon here and a bit of Velcro to hold it in place. Whereas on the B-Dale, you have this cotton elastic cuff. It's nice, and I guess it seals out the elements, but the problem with this is it both wears out and it, if it ever gets wet, it's not going to dry quickly. So personally, I prefer a sleeker design. Now, all of these wax barber jackets are equally effective at keeping water out. The wax cotton finishes are better than Gore-Tex, in my opinion, at providing water resistance with breathability and comfort. The Beedale and the Beaufort are both available in either of the same two proprietary fabrics, silk oil or thorn proof. This one actually is silk oil and this one thorn proof. These are two different waxy finishes over a six ounce cotton canvas base. And having owned both, I always feel a little bit more like a pretender when I'm wearing the silk oil. It's much softer and it's also less prone to rubbing the wax off on your car seat. And as convenient as that is and as practical as it is, the silk oil loses some of the bomb-proof tough feeling 
which is part of the appeal of a barber for me. And this one just feels much more robust and able to hold up the thorns and punishment. Both materials are much more breathable, tactile, and pleasant than Gore-Tex, and just as effective at keeping the dampness away from your core. This waterproofness is a result of pressing the cotton through heated rollers coated with wax, and this seals the wax in, integrating the waterproofness straight through the fibers. The finish wears off over time, but some of us like that look of wax wearing away. You can watch this video to see how to re-wax your jacket. Both the Beedale and the Beaufort are lined with Barber's classic lining, although this one is an older model and it's lined with Dress Gordon. The classic lining is now in both of them and it's featured in many of their accessories, so it makes matching Barber caps and scarves that much easier. All right, let's talk about the cost here. The B-Dale goes for 395 US dollars, whereas the Beaufort goes for 415 dollars. So I don't think that's the deciding factor between these two jackets. Remember also that there are several liners available for this if you really wanna make this your cold weather jacket. To wrap up, the B-Dale has a much more youthful cut and its shortness makes it particularly well suited for shorter guys. The Beaufort is longer. It provides more coverage and a bit more shelter from the rain. Its game pocket is handy for stowing items when you're out shopping. The security pocket under the flap is perfect for your wallet. I suppose it comes down to how tall you are and whether you're looking for a sportier look or something a bit more sophisticated. Well, that does it for me. Thanks for having me. This was a very good review. This guy also has just so many other barber jackets. Uh, he has a full review of his 10 year old Bedale jacket yep. as well, uh, which uh, I advise you to check out in the description below. And also subscribe to uh, Tim's channel, Hemingway Jones, in the description below, which emphasizes fountain pens, because this right. is a guy who loves well-made things and has a taste for the lovingly crafted. Uh, so in addition to his love of menswear, man really loves a pen. So check that out if that's something you're interested in. Thanks for that. Yeah, if you want to hang out that. here and Thank do more apparel stuff, yeah, cool. Sounds good. Two cool guys on Thank YouTube. You. All right, bye. All right. Uh, oh yeah. Okay. So now what do we do? We end it. Now you come in and say, "Thank you. That was <laughs> awesome." <laughs>